engineering is a big field. It goes across a lot of different things. You can do drugs. You can make your, your aspirin and your, your pain reliever. You can also go into uh, a different part, which is uh, bioengineering, where it can help you make, you know, have you seen some people that have, like, the uh, prosthetic legs? Chemical engineers or a branch of chemical engineering can do that. Um, of course, everybody knows chemical engineers are the ones that help you make the gas that runs in your car. Right. Chem right. Chemical engineers can also go ahead and make the the uh, Fritos that you eat, the potato chips, no. Doritos. Yes. yes. Uh, yep. yeah. Some people, chemical engineers, also can help make and process uh, ice cream and butter and everything else that you think. So basically, what an engineer, a chemical engineer, does is it looks at how a process is made. So what you would do to make a potato chip, and then what we try to do is we try to make it a little bit bigger, so you can make it for a lot of people, and it can be uh, done quicker, faster, and cheaper. Going back to my background, I actually, right now, I just transitioned. I'm working for the Dow Chemical Company right now. How many, have, how many people have heard of Dow Chemical? Who? Dow Chemical? Oh, yeah, I think Well, if you haven't heard of them, we're a chemical company. We produce a lot of different plastics. We make some uh, products that can be used in the oil and gas industry. We make products that can be used for the chairs that you make, that you're sitting in. We are a plastic company and we do some other stuff. We have water technology. We have a lot of different uh, energy technology stuff that we do. And so right now, I'm a process engineer there. I'm actually working on a design for a plant that's going to be built in Freeport. And it's going to make this particular agriculture chemical that's going to help preserve the, uh, preserve the feed and make it grow better so that we have better products when you're going to eat different foods. Think of, whenever you actually do an experiment, one experiment that everybody really does is they like to separate stuff. So when you go into a chemistry class, you'll have this small little, you'll have a small little beaker and you'll light it up, you know, put some fire under it, and then you'll have, you're going to look at the differences between stuff boiling off. And then you'll collect some of it over here, so you'll mix two chemicals together, and then you're going to try to separate them out by heating it. Basically, that's what chemical engineers do. We make sure we find a way to separate things and process it as much as we can. Now, whenever you take it in the small chemical, in the, the small one, we go and design it to be this big. Like, this is a tower, the separation tower that we designed, and it's probably about uh, 100 feet tall. And it's a probably process, you know, 14 to 20,000 pounds an hour or so. Yeah. And so this is another, this is another view. All of this stuff on, on here are, are stairs that you can climb up to. We have different things attached to the vessel so you can look at it and see it. And um, you have to wear your hard hat and you have to wear your steel toe boots. One thing you can't really necessarily be scared of heights because all of this stuff is really tall. I think the tallest thing that I've been on, I've been up to uh, probably 200 to 300 feet in the air 